Now in this video, I want to go from this video column and create a frequency distribution where we list a unique list, get the count, and do the percent of total for the counts. And I want to use the group by function. Now when you have a task like this, a frequency distribution, you want to use a pivot table because it's just fast and easy. But here's the thing. This is a data set that I use to track by day how long it takes to make a particular video. And I'm adding data all the time, and I don't always want to have to come over and refresh. That's where either the group by function or the pivot by function comes in handy, because I can create a very similar report, and every time I add data, that formula automatically updates. Now let's try this group by. There it is. And the difference between group by and pivot by is group by only does row conditions. Pivot tables can do row and column conditions. Row fields, well, here it is. I need to get a unique list from that column, comma. The values, well, just like in a pivot table, I would select this column, comma, and then the function. Well, I want to use count of because I'm counting text, and I want to use percentage of. Just like in a pivot table, I would use percent of column total. So when you have two functions that you want to stack horizontally one next to the other, we get to use H stack, horizontal stack, and then write in array one, array two, we can put our eta lambdas. Count of, comma, percent of, oops, I have a parentheses backspace. That'll do it, close parentheses, close parentheses, and when I hit enter, what? I get divide by zero up in a pivot table when I do this calculation, it's looking there. But here's why. Right click, come down to summarize values by and count, which counts text items. And this right click, summarize values by, well, it has count. And then once you have the aggregate function, you come over and show values as percent of column total. That calculation is working on the count which is in essence behind the scenes in this column. That is not what's happening here. The percent of algorithm does not work with text values. It works on number values where it adds numbers for each category and then divides by the sum total of all the numbers, something like this. And when I invoke percent of, it tried to work off this column, which does not contain numbers. So. The group by function doesn't have the same magical powers as a pivot table where we can count, get an aggregate result, and then on top of that, add a show values as percent of column total. Well, to remedy this, this is what I did. I said, I'm going to change the values to numbers. We're going to do a sequence, the same number of rows as over here. Rows, counting how many rows are in the video column. And I thought, 1 to 22, no problem. It'll just count how many. But check this out, Control-Enter. That's completely the wrong answer. And what is it doing? F2. Right there, 1 to 22. Well, it's using this algorithm, summing each category and then the sum of the total. So it's as if, if we add a third function, sum, Control-Enter, this is what percent of did to that sequence. It added all of the numbers for each one of the categories and then took them and divided by the total. So we get completely the wrong percentages. And we could check this to make sure. Hey, I'm going to take all of these divided by that. And when I hit Enter, I still get the wrong answer. Well, luckily, F2. Our pal XL Lambda said, well, instead of 1 to 22, how about just a bunch of 1s? So up here, I'm going to get rid of the sum, because those are really the two calculations I want. We'll count and do percent of on a sequence of 1s, comma, comma. The default for start is 1, comma, but if I step 0, now, when I select this argument and highlight, there's the ones we need. Control Enter, and bam, there's the correct F2 group by with counter and percent of working on text numbers.
Now, I like my labels, not these default labels. So let's just drop the top row using drop. There's the array. Rows, one says drop the top one, minus one says drop the bottom one. So comma one, close parentheses, and bam. There's my frequency distribution, count, and percent of total from a text column. And we have group by with count and percent of, and that awesome Excel Lambda one 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 sequence trick. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.